having to cut back hours because they cannot get people to fill their job openings. Daniel Hamburg looked into this labor shortage and Daniel, why is this problem lingering? Well, Alicia, some people blame the workers, others blame the pay, but either way, businesses are still struggling. At Capital Joe Coffee Shop in Mechanicsburg, the need for employees is apparent. We've been um, staffed up to about 13 baristas before the pandemic started. But now they're down to six across two locations. This week we normally close at eight. This week we're closing at five. Uh, and that's just because of our short staffing. It's a similar story across the area, a need recognized by the Mechanicsburg Chamber of Commerce. We've had a number of employers who have called us asking, are you having a job fair? Because they, everyone is looking for help. Long-term care facility Messiah Lifeways has more than 60 positions open. We recognize that our industry is not unique. There's labor shortages across many industries. Effective September 5th, its minimum wage will go up almost $3 to 15 an hour. We want to make sure that we are an employer of choice. So we want to make sure that not only are wages fair, but people feel like this is a career that they can grow with and that we care deeply about our team members. The change affects nearly a quarter of their workforce, along with raises for other employees too. They give every day on a day in day out basis. So we try to offer great things besides just pay, great benefits, opportunities for advancement and growth. At this part, the market is telling us what it needs to be. And right now it's saying, okay, maybe the only way to attract somebody is to raise that money. And at Capital Joe, the assistant manager tells me he hopes to see more applications from high schoolers as they go back to school and want to make some extra cash. In the newsroom, Daniel Hamburg, ABC 27 News. Thanks, Daniel. And